Sagittarius, this is going to be your timeless reading for February for the season of love. I hope that you are doing great and awesome and I am so glad to be in this space with you. Thank you for all your likes, your shares, your subscriptions. Right now, all of my readings are half off for the season of love. Let me clear your space with my bell one second. Okay, we're going to start with the Bodhi Tarot for you. Okay, we are reading now for Sagittarius, connecting now to the twin flame energy of the Sagittarius's who watch me. And whoa, let me be the clearest channel for them, please. Oh my God, they're falling everywhere. This lighting is way better. Scorpio's head lighting that wasn't that well. Love yourself first. You cannot expect someone else to love you when you do not love yourself. Now we all have those days where we do not feel at our best or we struggle with self-love. Just remember to every day give yourself that love that you would want someone to give to you. Sorry if you can't see my eyes because there is a glare. All right. Oh my God. These both came out back to back. Self-love is important at this time. Put yourself first, take care of yourself, and be gentle with yourself. So there you go. You can't make it up. Spirit is really hammering this home for you, Sagittarius. Um, you need to be gentle with yourself. Love yourself as, as you would love um, your friends or your soul family. It is very important that you come first, that your self-love come first, because your twin soul is going to mirror that um, ambivalence about loving yourself back to you because they are our mirrors. And they will also struggle loving themselves if you struggle loving yourself because you guys share the same energetic blueprint. So whatever it is that you're struggling with, your twin is also struggling with it as well. So keep that in mind, okay? Though it may not seem like it. Spirit just got you two more. A twin flame. Oh my goodness. See, you can't make it up. A twin flame connection is in or entering your life. This could be a friend or a lover. Either way, this connection may be triggering as they are a reflection of yourself. I just said that. <laughs> Thank you for the confirmation, spirits. Soul contracts have been fulfilled. Lessons learned. A new beginning in love awaits. So when you continue to show up for yourself and love yourself, it, the, this twin flame connection is, if it's not already here and you are a Sagittarius who's watching this and you have no idea who your twin soul is or twin flame, then keep an eye out for them because this will be the time when you will meet them. That's what spirit is saying now. And it's because your soul contracts have been fulfilled. You're learning self-love. So all of those things are what is propelling you into your new timeline where you meet your twin soul. Now, for those of you who do know who your twin soul is, there needs to be some more self-love, just like for the Sagittarius that do not know who their twin soul is. Spirit is giving the same message for both of you. Self-love, self-love, self-love. Put yourself first, and you have to be honest as to whether or not you're actually really putting yourself first. Are you doing the things first that make you happy before you take care of other people? If not, then that's not real self-love, and Spirit will definitely let you know if you are struggling with that. I think Leo got that... Um, same card as well so in fact i think most of the fire signs or the signs in general have been getting this that same um message all right so let's do the love oracle i don't know why i brought that pen over here all right for sagittarius what do we got for sagittarius you know what, maybe if I turn this off there, this it's not such a glare. It is a little bit darker, but I have my light on, so I just hope it lasts for all of the readings. I have one more, um, two more readings to do. All right, and then I'll be reading, reading for Aquarius and Pisces tomorrow. All right, what do we got for Sagittarius, please? 
shuffle one more time. After this is Capricorn. And I'm going to do a mini read for you. Sorry for any background noise. Sagittarius, can we get three cards for Sagittarius, please? Or however many you want. <laughs> Ooh. Heartbreak. It's really hot in here. Soulmates. Which for you, this would be, you know, the twin flame card or twin soul card. Because I am not a soulmate reader. I am a twin flame reader. So we just take those cards. You know what? You could be dealing with a soulmate, though, that broke your heart. So it came out with heartbreak. So that makes sense. All right. Definitely a soul we're dealing with. So for some of you, you might be experiencing some heartbreak with a soulmate. Now, a soulmate is generally the person that most people marry because everything sort of falls together easily. But with a soulmate, you you generally feel like best friends. There's no really strong sexual magnetic attraction like what will happen with twin flames. Um, your soulmate is not your mirror, though they do mirror certain things to you. They are definitely, the, the depth of your connection is not as strong as a twin soul, twin flame connection. Okay, so for some of you, there's two different messages coming out. For some of you, you are going through this heartbreak with a soulmate. And, you know, it could be someone that you've been married to for a really long time. And now things are starting to break down. Or someone that you've been with for a really long time. And now, you know, it's creating some anxiety. That's the card that came out next about you know what is going to happen in the future with this connection and I feel like everything is happening for a reason everything is in divine timing and is playing out you know for your greatest good in order to sort of shift you into this twin flame connection and obviously if you're watching me that is what you're yearning for so you might not realize it but if you've been called here it's because you want to be with your twin flame or your twin soul and you're not happy where you're at, you can tell yourself all you want and continue to mask and say, no, I'm happy with my soulmate. But the truth of the matter is you wouldn't have been drawn to this reading if you were completely happy with your soulmate. So I'm just going to say that. Um, and I hope that didn't come across <laughs> in a, a mean way, but I just don't like to sugarcoat things because, you know, there's a reason that everyone finds these videos and are drawn into the twin flame energy that I, you know, project out as a twin soul reader. Okay. All right. So the other storyline is, you know, for some of you, you may be in a point of separation with your twin soul and that is creating some anxiety. So we're going to go ahead and go with those two storylines because those are the two strongest ones that are coming out for Sagittarius. We're going to read from the angel, romance angels, and see what the romance angels have to say. And we're going to go on to the tarot portion from the dragon tarot. And so we're going to close off with the roommate oracle. What else do our beautiful Sagittarius need to know? Um, keep in mind the two storylines, spirits, and what you want both of them to know. Whoa. Flirt. Extend your light hydrant energy to others. <laughs> I wanted the floor. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. So see, there is definitely a past life connection with someone. My beautiful fire signs that you are feeling. children your love life is being affected by children so for some of you again there's that storyline keeps coming out you may have been with a soulmate that you're married to you've been with for a while you guys have children together and so you know you're wanting to do the right thing you're like oh i'm going to stay with this person but deep in your heart you know that your calling is to your twin soul and there's no shame in any of that 
things break down and everything happens for a reason. Okay. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life, love life right now. So we have two different factors affecting your love life, children and finances. So for some of you, you literally stay because you have children or you stay because of your finances. Maybe you guys have shared finances. It makes perfect sense. You know, there comes a point where someone has to have the courage to walk away or to face the situation as to what it is. That's for the one storyline for the person that is possibly married to the soulmates. And then this one, I mean, for both of you, the both storylines, I feel like this, you do have a past life connection with someone that is tugging at you. Maybe that is why you're not feeling um, the connection anymore to the soulmate because your soul is creating this magnetic attraction for someone else. And you can never truly be happy as long as your soul is acknowledging the connection that you have with another soul, right? Your copy soul blueprints, which is what your twin flame or your twin soul is. And then we have flirts, extend your lighthearted energy to others. So for both storylines, spirit is asking you to um, enjoy yourself and let the funner, fun, more fun side of yourself show and flirt, extend your lighthearted, fun, wonderful, beautiful Sagittarius energy to others to let them know that your open sign is open. Now, of course, if you are, you know, cutting ties with the soulmate and you're not, you know, fully energetically um, separated from this person, you're not legally separated, you're not, you know, in the in the process of going through a divorce, of course, I'm not condoning you to, you know, flirt with other people and compromise your marriage in any way at all. That is absolutely not what I'm saying. I am, I am for the utmost integrity um, and morals as far as relationships go. But, you know, if you are in the process of cutting ties with this person and you know this reading resonates for you, then of course, Spirit is saying, put yourself out there. Don't be afraid. Don't let that fear hold you back. You know, you're separated for a reason. You're filing for a divorce for a reason. Allow yourself to enjoy yourself and put yourself out there so that you can possibly find your twin soul or the one that is calling to your soul, okay? And for those of you that are in separation, maybe it's time to, you know, flirt with that counterpart that you know is your twin soul. And of course, this will probably be for a divine masculine because I don't see any divine feminines like putting them, themselves out there um, in that type of way. Definitely, there is a lot of sexual magnetic attraction for you, Sagittarius, and your person, your twin soul. All right. Um, Mom, I want pee. Oh, gracious. Mom, you went. I want poop. <laughs> okay. Um, one second, Sad. Okay. Sorry about that, Sad Sherry. <laughs> so, at least now you know that I am a divorced mom of three. So, when you purchase a reading with me or tip me, um, you are helping to support me. This is my only job. Um, <laughs> and as you see, as you've just seen, um, I I have three children. And that was one of my children. He's my youngest. His name is London, and he's five. And he's still in pull-ups, so we are working on potty training him. Um, I do co-parent with their father, and, you know, we don't, we're not perfect. We don't always get along, but we do our best. But, you know, I am independent. I take care of myself. I pay my own bills. And this is my only job. This is my only income. So when you guys support me, you're supporting me and you're supporting my ability to take care of my children. So I appreciate every single penny and every single donation every single purchase from my Etsy shop because you guys are my abundance so part of it anyways all right so we're gonna go on to the, this is so funny he comes up I gotta go or he's like 
I went pee. I also went poop. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's do the tarot for Sagittarius, please. Four cards for Sagittarius. And we will be done after the roomy oracle. After this, I will be reading for Capricorn. All right, four cards for Sagittarius, please. Whoa, something wanted to come out, but it did quite. Four of Cups. That came out in the last reading for Scorpio. Ooh, that card flew out. Hmm. So we have some cups, which shows me that there is some very strong emotions. Um, there is a divine masculine who perhaps has considered marriage with a divine feminine. And there's a lot of contemplating going on. But I do not like that there's swords in between here. So we have four of cups and then we have seven of wands. What's up, babe? Um, and so, you, you know, the there's... Huh? One second. Okay, sorry about that, Sagittarius. So, as I was saying, the Four of Cups, which shows me the card of, you know, um, stability, thinking of, of um, ways to create stability in the future for you and your twin soul. But there's a lot of swords in the middle here, and it's, it's you know bookended by the seven of wands so because if you see it came out like this we got this and uh, so it, it would be like this in the order of how you guys will interpret it because this came out first and then this and then this and then this so these are bookending each other okay so i can see that someone wants to take steps to create this stable life with their twin soul but we have eight of swords which is showing me you know um the page of swords is is okay so the page of swords is the energy of like spying watching um learning um pages are always like watchers um someone spying watching and it's also the energy of like again being held back can you see that the dragon is holding the page back so as someone who wants to move forward but the eight of swords energy is like this energy of criticism and you know worrying about what other people think worrying that other people are going to criticize you or blame you or try to hold you back and change your mind and the seven of wands is about victory. So I see that, you know, if this if this message is for a divine masculine, I do see that you are hesitating because you're worried about people criticizing your actions. Maybe you're worried about what people will say if you decide to move forward with a certain connection. Or maybe people are doing that now. They're, you know, criticizing your choices. They're saying you're not making the right decision. You're doing this. You know, you shouldn't be, you know, working this job. You shouldn't be um, doing this thing. You shouldn't be following your dreams. Like, who the hell do you think you are following your dreams? Nobody does that, right? But the Seven of Wands is showing me that success is inevitable. This is the card of success. And it's going to be bigger than you ever thought possible because you've allowed yourself to ignore what people are saying in order to follow your hearts and follow your dreams so therefore it's going to be way um way um bigger sweeter more um 
divine than you ever thought, you know, more juicy than you ever thought possible because you had the courage to not listen to what people are saying and to go ahead and follow your heart. Now, if this is, you know, for a divine feminine watching, your person is very hung up on what other people are thinking. So they may take some time to get to the point where they um, will let you know that they've come to this decision to move forward. Um, I see that they are doing a lot of daydreaming. They might spend some time with you in the dream state and, you know, in different timelines and different 5D dimension. Um, but they are still letting the dragon call the shots for the time being. Okay. <laughs> so. All right. So we are going to end with the Rumi Oracle. I hope that this has helped you in some way, Sagittarius. And I hope that you have the courage to continue to follow your heart and your dreams because you are worth it, my beautiful Sagittarius. All right, so let's end with the Rumi Oracle. What else do our beautiful Sagittarius need to know? What, what should we end off with for them? And thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. For those of you who continue to support me on my Patreon, even though I haven't really been doing much uploading on there at all, I appreciate you. As you know, you know, supporting me on Patreon allows me to continue to do what I do here and not have to go out and get a muggle job. So if you want to continue to see me do readings, then I have to be, I have to receive some sort of support um, financial wise in order to continue doing this. And Patreon is one of the ways that you can financially support me as well. All right, so we have Sacred Soul Sister, number 37. Added up seven and three, and it's 10. Where it is? 37, 37, 37. And I always just um, read what I feel guided to. Sacred Soul Sister, when you are conscious, a cloud of sadness surrounds you. When you are beyond consciousness, the moon rests in your arms. When you are conscious, the beloved moves out of your reach. When you are beyond consciousness, the ecstasy of love moves your way. When you are conscious, you are depressed like fall. When you are beyond consciousness, the winter cold feels like spring. All your wavering is due to your longing to be stable. Look for instability until you become stable. Again, we were talking about that stability with the four of cups. You cannot make it up. I love you. I am your other self. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That's beautiful. I am with you always your partner on this soul journey. I am the one that you do not see. I am the one, I am the you that speaks through intuition and instinct. I whisper and sing and shout my crazed truth telling to you through your dreams, through your body. I am the you that is wise, that trusts in life, that knows I am the you that sees reality rather than appearance. I am the you that knows how to be happy and free. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to leave it at that, my beautiful Sagittarius. That, I think that was one of the most beautiful reads I've ever done. And the, those words that obviously needed to come through to you from your twin soul are absolutely beautiful and it makes me a little bit emotional even passing that message on to you because it's so from the heart and I can feel the energy of your twin soul and they just have so much love and um, endearment towards you and the love is so beautiful and unconditional and it's just um, leaving me a little bit breathless and Feeling a little starstruck, to be honest. It just feels so warm and comforting and feels like coming home. 
So I hope you enjoyed this reading, Sagittarius. And if you'd like to book a reading with me, then please feel free to do so. Go ahead and click on the description box. And all my readings are half off right now for the season of love. They will go back up in March. So make sure if you want to get your reading in with me to so go ahead and do so by emailing me or contacting me on Instagram. I love you.